I'm back. Hey everybody, I am in sunny Mexico. With, we're going to talk about my nomad life. How did we get there? What the heck happened? How did I follow spirit? How did I follow soul? But first, I want to talk to you about the big shift that's happened with Venus and, sorry, with, yeah, Venus, <laughs> Venus and Mercury. And that is in Sagittarius. It's going to be there for a few weeks. So you're going to really want to know how to navigate this time. It's extremely important. Or you're going to find yourself in fights and arguments and debates. And maybe getting putting your foot in your mouth too often. Or getting really upset and hurt by somebody else who is putting a foot in their mouth. And using sarcasm to get their point across. Because that's what Sagittarius is all about. It's about freedom of speech. I'm going to say what I want, how I want, the way I want, whether you like it or not. I found myself actually... Um, correcting a young woman in her behavior, which was, and it, she's already a forthright person to begin with. She says it as it is. So we were standing in line and a couple of people were in, I'm in just outside of Cancun in Playa Car. And I was standing in line and a couple of people, probably my age, but they're both gray haired. So might've looked a little bit older, but I look young for my age. Went in front and I was like, what? And, but then my teller was open immediately, so I got to go. But she was like, hey, dude, she was here first. And I said, hey, it's okay. There's a line here, right? Thanks. She goes, I know, but I fucking hate it when these old people, they think that they can just boop themselves around and just go in and I'm going, I'm one of those old people you're talking about. And there's probably a whole bunch of those old people right here listening to your... <laughs> your big mouth yakking away about old people. And she was just recently complaining about racism. I said, to me, that's just as bad as racism, girl, because you're stereotyping old people and chunking us all together and insulting us in one sentence because of lineup, right? So uh, she got a little quiet for a while. I spoke my mind, which is something I probably wouldn't have done, but I actually was kind of embarrassed. Um, and she was over speaking her mind. Now, this is about truth and it's conspiracy theories are going to come out because we got Mars and Gemini, which is an opposition. So people are going to start going through the dictionary and going through the Webster, you know, going on Google and looking it up the facts about is this truth? Is this exactly what they're talking? Which is not a bad thing to do. But you don't want to come back with sarcasm or righteousness or that you're all that and they're and you're dumbing them down. Okay, you want to be very careful around that. Now, if somebody's doing that to you, you want to take a look at what is their belief system? What is their philosophy? Somehow they're feeling that is being challenged. So just be careful what you say and do your research.